Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 41 of the Mitch Trubisky Player Franchise. Today we're taking on the Green Bay Packers, who are 0-2 coming into this game. A bit of a surprise to me. I thought they would be better with the best quarterback to ever play the game, Aaron Rodgers. Or, that's what ESPN likes to claim. Ignore my stats from last week as I talk crap about Aaron Rodgers. Uh, today we should have a better game. <laughs> Oh, it's oh, great. It's going to be a rainy one. <laughs> Every time I play the Packers, I want to blow them out from the start of the game to the end of the game. I want to be scoring. I don't care what my defense does. I want to put up points. I know that doesn't always happen. And a lot of these games are a lot closer than I, lo I like. But we get a nice catch from Ali Jefferson to open things up. On to the Packers side of the field to start things off. That's a 49-yard line. A 35-yard catch there. And if you're asking yourself, what playbook am I using today? Because it looks a little different than the normal New England playbook that we like to run on offense. Well, with the new coach, we got Chuck, Pag Chuck Pagano this year. So we're testing out the Indianapolis Colts playbook because that's what Pagano uses because he was the coach, Colts quarter coach at the time. And we're going to start things off now with back-to-back -back shitty carries by Jordan Howard. He had a terrible game last week with the Rams offense. Hopefully today with the Colts playbook, he does a lot better. Never know, though. I might have to throw for like 400 yards again. I'm trying to keep the yards down because I'm, I'm thinking that will help my interceptions. Because I've been throwing a lot of them. So if I can keep my yardage down, maybe that will help me throw less interceptions this season. I don't know, just a thought, but with that catch there, we're down at the 31-yard line, first and 10. We have a good shot here at scoring some points. Jordan Howard with a nice six-yard carry there, setting us up for a second and four. Now, it normally takes me a second to figure out what play they're running, but looks like we should be good here. Little play action. I love me some play action. Um, nobody looks open, so I'm just going to take off with it, pick up that first down. Get out of bounds so I wouldn't get hit. Oh, I didn't get hurt. <laughs> the defender that hit me out of bounds did. So, I call that a win. <laughs> first and 10 at the 14-yard line. We're going to go with this. We're trying to get Jordan Howard his first rushing touchdown of the season. I don't think he got one at all last week. Four carries, five yards. Not the start we would like, but eh. second and nine at the 13-yard line. Ah, damn it. Third and 11. All right. Where's Ollie Jefferson? So I was looking for Meredith in the end zone here because I didn't get him a touchdown at all last season. This is a terrible throw right there. So we're going to walk away with a field goal after that one. But yeah, Meredith didn't get, Cameron Meredith didn't get open like I'd like, so I had a force one. Tie game 3-3. And we're going to get sacked in the backfield. That one, we lost 8 yards. Second and 18 now. I don't know. Maybe mixing up the playbooks three three different ones in the first three weeks of this season is a good idea because it might prevent defenses from knowing what I'm doing. But my offensive line is trash, so I can't really... Why would you... Oh, my... He got some yards. At least that's nice. Third and 11. I don't even remember what I was just saying. About the playbooks. So I'm going to ignore that. I might come back to it later. Third and 11. <laughs> We're going to look for probably Dante Moncrief. Maybe Jefferson gets open here. Oh yeah, he gets open and he makes a catch. First down. Big catch there. Alright, I really want to burn... Just going to chuck one deep for Jefferson. See if he can make the catch. He cannot. Second and ten. That 
incompletion stops the clock, which might help the Packers. I don't know. Might help us. <laughs> I do want to score a touchdown before halftime. Give Jordan Howard here a big first down run. Solid run for about, if I'm good at math, 12 yards. 14 yards. Anyways, first that first and ten. We're gonna do a little play action here. Looking for one of our receivers deep. That was a bad throw. That should have been intercepted. Um again, new playbook, trying to force some stuff. I know who my reliable receivers are, so I'm trying to go to them. But I'm also trying to get my backups involved. Because you never know, I might need them down the road. Somebody might get hurt. I might need to figure out their strengths and weaknesses. I just, I, I just got to get, start getting those guys involved. Third and one after that nice nine-yard catch there by my second-string tight end, Adam Shireen. He is starting right now because Zach Miller is still injured. He'll be back shortly. I think he comes back next game. Or is he here today? No, he's not here right now. Oh, I thought he was. No, still... Adam Shireen, nice catch there, down to the 23-yard line. Looks like we should be scoring a touchdown here. Or we might turn it over. I, I, I'm not, don't know, 100%, guessing. Either way, we might get something going here. Second and two, clock is running. Trying to look for Jefferson deep. Over the middle, no. We're going to Cameron Meredith here, down at the 9-yard, 10-yard line. First and goal from the 10 yard line. Now, again, I think Cameron Meredith had a single touchdown last season. So this year, we want to make sure that we get him at least a couple. It's hard when he's not, <laughs> not open when I want him to be. And since he's not a big body receiver in the red zone, I don't look to him that often. So th that's probably my mistake. Probably should have been looking for him more. But here we go. Second and goal. We're at the eight yard line. I should throw it here. Looks like we got somebody wide open right there. Got some Moncrief. Our defense does its job and gives us the ball back with a minute 35 left in the first half. We got two timeouts. We might have a shot at scoring again. We're going to find Jefferson for a short screen. Four-yard pickup there. Um, I thought that might work better than it did. Did not. We might try it again. Never mind. Meredith is wide open for the first down at the 37-yard line. We're back in field goal range. Should be able to put up more points on the board before halftime. Now, am I trying to run up the score on the Packers? Yes. Am I trying to win the game? Yes. Do I want to prove that I'm better than Aaron Rodgers, the supposedly best quarterback in the NFL, in an NFL history, as ESPN likes to claim he is? Um, I don't care that much about that part. But I do like to see him lose as much as possible. There we go. Ali Jefferson for the first down at the 13-yard line. The clock is going to run now. We don't want to use our last time out. Um, we want to save that. But we're, we're going to look for Jordan Howard there, but he tripped up. We're going to scramble it in. There was a touchdown, but there's a flag. Most likely and uh, probably blocking or holding on our offense. I'm guessing it's on Howard. Illegal block in the back on Jordan Howard. So that touchdown does not count. And we're going to go back to the 12-yard line. So, first and goal at the... Oh, not first and goal anymore. First and nine at the 12-yard line. Thanks a lot, Jordan Howard. Is it because you haven't scored a rushing touchdown this season yet and I've scored a couple? I think I've scored one or two. But, I don't know. He might be upset about that, but... It could be because of my play calling, but it's also because he keeps getting injured. That's his fault. It's not my fault. It is frustrating how often he is injured recently, but 
Can't do much about it. Look at me scramble here. I'm just going to carry these guys into the end zone. All right, so it looks like we left too much time on the clock. The Packers scored. We got the ball with 13 seconds to go. We don't really have a shot at anything. I was going to try taking a shot at getting a field goal. But he's going to drop the ball there. That would probably put us close to range. Unfortunately, we did not pick that up. So second and ten, six seconds left. Potentially last play of the game. Not the game of the first half. We're going to have a short break, and then we'll come back for the second half. That's intercepted. That was my mistake. That was a bad throw. Well, not a bad throw. The def it went directly to the defender. He read it perfectly. But we're going to go into halftime up 17-10. to 10. We're doing pretty nice. We're doing pretty well. Our passing game, at least, killing it. Running game, I expect a little bit more. There's Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy. The now current coach of the Packers. I'm um, Cowboys. <laughs> See, our running game struggling, but so is theirs. So, that's halftime. And we get the ball to start things off in the second half. Hopefully, we start things off with a touchdown drive here. We never know. Jordan Howard with a solid pickup here on first down. Six yards there. Setting us up for a second and four. That's the kind of start I was hoping for. Maybe we're going to go a little play action here. Toss one deep to Cameron Meredith. See if he has any speed in those chicken legs of his. No, we're going to hand it off to Jordan Howard. He's going to get tackled in the backfield. That's going to be a loss there. Third and six. Why is the clock not moving? There it goes. Oh, so that was a little weird. Um, I like the clock to keep moving consistently in the second half. I don't want the Packers to have any shot at winning this. They don't have any wins this season, and I don't plan on giving them one today. A 3-0 start might keep them out of the playoffs this year. That would be the goal. Oh, I was trying to scramble away from that guy by Jefferson some time, but my offensive line did not block for me at all. Jefferson, if I would have had like about one more second, I probably would have got him a nice big completion right there. Little play action here. Just going to chuck it deep for Jefferson. He comes down with it. And gets tackled by the legs at the 14-yard line. First and 10. We're in range for a touchdown. That was a nice play by Jefferson. If I would have hit him in stride, he probably would have made it to the end zone for a touchdown. But we did not. So we're going to find Jordan Howard here. Oh, I was hoping he was just going to truck through that dude. He does not. Again, I'm only controlling Trubisky. I like to remind people that I don't control the rest of the team. If I was, that would have been a touchdown. That play right there would not have happened. That was a terrible play. I don't know how you don't see where the defenders are coming from. Why do you just run straight into them? We're trying. If you can't tell, we're trying to get Jordan Howard a touchdown here. So third and one at the four-yard line. We're going to pick up the first down, but they're going to say he's short. I thought he made it in. I can't challenge anything. I'm not the coach. So I just have to go right back to it, see if he could do it one more time. Let's power in, get that touchdown. No, he's going to lose three yards in the backfield. Second and goal at the four-yard four line. Can you tell that was not the play I wanted to do? I was hoping our offensive line would give me a little push. Our guards and center are pretty okay. I know our starting left guard is injured right now. So, that could be the issue. We don't... What the hell, Jolly? You could have dove in there. So, third and goal at the two-yard line. Once again, do I want to go right back to Jolly? Yeah, I do. And he's going to lose yards. Our, all, our red zone offense is trash when we try to go with the run. Um, I don't know how. We have one of the best running backs in the league. Jordan Howard, while he might not have lived up to those expectations. Oh, there's a touchdown. And we get the ball back with a minute three left in the third quarter. Up 24-10. to 10. Our defense is finally having a pretty nice game here. Against the Rams last week, they were trash. Today, pretty alright. 
We're going to fu- Oh, he drops the ball. So the one that threw it, wide open. When he the ball finally got there, he came, it came down in triple coverage. So, bad throw by me. Mm, I don't know. It looked like it was right in his hands. He just couldn't hold on to it. So, that, I'm not going to say that was a bad throw. That play there, bad bad play. We didn't get any blocks. Jordan Howard lost a yard. Third and 11 at 30-yard line. Again, we are using a playbook that I am not familiar with. So, a lot of these plays, you see me calling them. I have to figure out what they are after I call them. Now, typically here, I think Cameron Meredith does not beat this guy. Nobody's beating their guy. I'm just going to take off myself. I'll pick up the first down with my legs. We're just going to try scrambling for a while. That was a pretty nice run. On to the Packers' side of the field. At the 41-yard line, three seconds left in the third quarter. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're not going to get into the playoff. But that's going to bring us to the fourth quarter. The goal now, I want to score again, but I also want to make sure we're eating up clock. Because I don't want Aaron Rodgers to have any shot at coming back. Um, from what I heard, he's pretty cocky and doesn't speak with his family. He's not the best teammate either. So Apparently my right tackle, whoever is supposed to block Nick Perry, isn't the best teammate as well. What the fuck? That's going to set us up for a second and 18 at the 49-yard line. I'm getting really sick of those sacks. We got a, we got a white. Never mind. Took another sack. Third and 26. Every time we get somebody open, our offensive line's like, oh, were we supposed to be blocking somebody? We forgot what play we were running. You're, you're blocking. It's a pass play. Block somebody. Now, I would get it if it was a run play and you're like, oh, what am I supposed to be doing on this run play? Forcing into double coverage. He caught that and then right at... Do me a favor, rewind that play. Watch it in slow motion. Because um, he caught that and all of a sudden he dropped it after he hit the ground and his knees touched. Oh, look, another sack. Let me guess, that was Charles Leno Jr. not blocking his guy at left tackle. Second and 16. 415 left in the game. Of, are you serious? And now he's hurt. Every time I feel like we're getting anything going on offense, it's this crap. Our offensive line refuses to block. My running game's not getting anything going. My guys are getting hurt. Players are dropping balls they should have caught or they did catch. And then all of a sudden once they hit the ground, they no longer catch the ball. And they're like, oh, incompletion, not a fumble. That should have been a fumble, not an incompletion. Well, we should get a field goal out of that at least. We'll see. Nope, no field goal. We get the ball back like 30 seconds later. Play here to Jordan Howard. Oh, look. No yards. 15 carries, 37 yards. We are not going to be using this Chuck Pagano offense anymore. I hate it. We're getting, like, nothing going. Just going to chuck one deep to Jefferson. He makes a catch and breaks the tackle. Yeah, we get the ball back up 31-10. to 10. Our defense is doing an incredible job on this Packers offense. Our offense, on the other hand, is not doing great. We can't get anything going on the ground. Our offensive line, I, because of the GM not drafting or signing anybody or doing any trades, um, because of one guy getting hurt and losing other guys in free agency, our offensive line is terrible. So... Our receivers are dropping passes. Our tight ends are getting hurt. We'll be lucky to walk away with a win here. We're definitely doing better than I thought we were going to be doing so far early in the season. But again, it's 16 games to the playoffs. This is only game three. So even a win here would put us at two and one. Another deep throw. To oh, he dropped it. I was going to say another deep throw to Ali Jefferson. 
Packers did score, but they're still down by 14. We get the ball back with 42 seconds left. Just going to run out the clock. And Jordan Howard is a, finally a solid carry there. Why would you call a timeout? You're down by 14. There's no way you're getting the ball back with enough time to score and tie it up. Because you need to score with like one throw and then get an onside kick just for a shot at tying it up. With even, just, just to have enough time to tie it up. You have no options. Just like Jordan Howard there on that play. Why would you run directly into your defender? Your blocker. Third and four. 32 seconds left in the game. Why am I delaying calling another play? They stopped the clock. So if you can't tell, I forgot that they stopped the clock. So <laughs> We're going to call a play here. We're just going to hand it right off to Jordan Howard. Oh, nope. We're going to hand it off to our fullback. See if he can pick up four yards. He's supposed to be our power running back. He's never used he's never used that way. Now let's see what the Packers do. Oh, fourth and three. Our coach wants us to go for it for some reason. Alright. That's weird. I could go for it, I guess. Our offense has been pretty even all games the past 25. We've run 26 times. We're going to find Ali Jefferson for the first down at the 17-yard line. And that seals the game for us. 17 seconds to go. Try to throw one more play here. Can I get a touchdown pass to Meredith? No. 10 seconds to go in the game. I got to at least do one more play just to get the clock going. I could do a quarterback kneel, but those aren't fun. <laughs> I want to score again. <laughs> I got timeout, so if I really wanted to, I could really get off like three plays here, as long as I'm not eating too much clock. Oh, looks like we're going to scramble it ourselves for the first down, for the touchdown. <laughs> And that's going to be the game. A nice 38-17 to 17 win over the Green Bay Packers. I threw for a couple. I ran one in. That last last scramble was a lot of fun. I definitely thought I was going to get tackled from behind. Trubisky's not the fastest. so. But I made some moves. <laughs> we poured on the points when we really didn't need to. And we walk away with a win today. I definitely thought Aaron Rodgers was going to put up more than 17 points. It's really weird seeing that, especially when he's rated like a 99 overall. Um, but I'll take the win. <laughs> it was a fun game. I definitely enjoyed it. I won't be going back to that uh, Colts, the Colts playbook, the Chuck Pagano offensive playbook. Next week we're taking next game we're taking on the Dallas Cowboys. So come back for that game. I'm going to be talking a bunch of trash about the Cowboys the whole time. So. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Comment, comment something below.